Organ donation is the act of giving an organ to save or improve the life of someone who needs a transplant. You are able to donate some organs while you're alive, for example, a kidney or part of your liver. But most organ and tissue donations will come from people who have died. More than fifty thousand people are alive today across the UK due to the generosity of organ donors and their families. But right now, around six thousand seriously ill people are waiting for a life-saving transplant. In the current organ donation system in England, you can register your decision to donate by signing up as a donor on the NHS Organ Donor Register and informing your family of your decision. The NHS Organ Donor Register is a database which securely holds the details of everyone in the UK who has expressed the decision to donate their organs to help others when they die. Anyone of any age can join the Organ Donor Register. And parents can register their children. Signing up to the NHS Organ Donor Register is easy and only takes two minutes. You can go online at organdonation.nhs.uk or give us a call on o three hundred one two three two three two three, and we can talk you through it. When you sign up to be an organ donor, you will receive your own organ donor card in the post. Be proud of it. If you'd prefer to go digital, you can download one from our website, organdonation.nhs.uk. This would be the perfect chance to share your new card and your decision with your family and friends. Informing your family and friends of your decision is a very important step. It's essential that they are aware of your desire to help others, so that they can support your decision when the time comes. When registering. You can choose which parts of your body you'd be willing to donate. You can donate all or some of your organs and tissue, including the gift of sight. The more you're willing to donate, the more people you can potentially help. Anyone can register to donate their organs, and all of your personal information, including any medical conditions, will be checked at the time of donation to ensure that it's safe to transplant your organs into other people. Your family will be asked to help with some of this information, such as your travel history. You can update your record at any time. If you move house, for example, or wish to change your decision about organ donation, including which organs or tissue you're willing to donate, organ donation saves and transforms thousands of lives each year, with even more lives improved by tissue donation. To be an organ donor, you need to die in hospital in specific circumstances. When this happens, a specialist nurse will check if you're a registered organ donor and share this information with your family. If you are a registered donor, your family will be expected to support your decision, and if you aren't, they will be asked to make a decision on your behalf. Which is why it's so important that you tell your family what you want. Don't leave them to make a decision at a difficult time, without being certain about what you wanted. A number of tests will need to take place to check your organs are suitable for patients. Then, if organ donation can proceed, your donated organs will be matched to patients on the transplant waiting list who are in desperate need of an organ transplant. Organ donors are treated with the same respect, dignity, and care as any other patient, and can save or transform the lives of up to nine people. More than fifty thousand people are alive today across the UK due to the generosity of organ donors and their families. But right now, around six thousand seriously ill people are waiting for a life-saving transplant. Joining the NHS Organ Donor Register. Is the best way to ensure that your decision is honoured when you die. Three people die each day in need of a transplant, so go to organdonation.nhs.uk and sign up now. And remember to tell your family you want to give the gift of life.